So who were the actors who trained under your mother here in Toronto? Who was? The actress. What was the group of actors and actresses? Well, she had a, a group of young people in Toronto who were really determined to become professional. To this was added, as the war ended, all those now highly trained theatrical people from the Army show, the Navy show, the RCAF show, the, the Allen and Blanche Lunds, the Wayne and Schusters, the Peter Muses, the, all of those who came out of the Army show, they wanted to have a professional theater in Canada. At the same time, radio was bursting its seams with people who had become professional radio actors, highly professional, like Draney, top of the line, but who had no outlet in the theater, right. which they loved. And then there were, as I've suggested, professionals left over from the 1920s, some of whom had worked in the States or and come back. And there were quite a few English people at the end of the war who came over from Britain wanting to get a new start in Canada. And then very closely on the heels of that, you see, was the, the beginning of television, in, uh, in 19, which went on the air in 1952. Why did, why did Dora so call it So it was it, uh, out, of this, out of this group that she, she formed a, uh, a group, and there was a split in the group. Half of them wanted to become professional, half of them didn't. Don Harron was an example, one of the ones who didn't. He'd been very active in it, but he didn't want it to become professional. And then he was persuaded, as she finally did get the thing off the ground, got a theater for it downtown. Which theater? The Museum Theater, which was really a lecture hall in the uh, Royal Ontario Museum. And, and we're 1949, 1948, when are we now? This is, we're in 45, 46. Right. Uh, for the first season was 46, 47. And, and I was, was in Vancouver. Purpose? And then what? I came back from uh, the CBC in Vancouver and joined her in uh, running the New Play Society. And what was her purpose in forming that company? Very explicitly to form a non, a professional but non profit company. But she called it the New Play Society. That means she was interested in Canadian writing? Oh, yeah. But there was always some ambiguity about it. I think the, the notion of the title at first, before I got on the scene, <laughs> was that it was a play society which was new. Ah, I see. Uh, but it was certainly, uh, within the year, it was strung around, swung around very firmly uh, to mean doing as much as possible new plays. And indeed, it was only in our second season that we split 50-50. We did half a, uh, of the plays that were, were the great classics, Ibsen, Shakespeare, Shaw.